Alright, mission 20, hail and hail, yes, right, gate. So, obviously, if he's doing those free dive kicks, you just dodge them. Don't try and counter them. What I like to do for this fight is just constantly move back. You'll see me move back a lot, and that's because Dante, his AI doesn't finish his combos. And it completely makes the fight piss easy. Right, like, watch. Right, he just did an entire combo. When I wasn't even there. And you can just go in and get free hits on him. It's like, I don't know, it's a serious design flaw. But it does make the fight a lot easier. If you decide to fight him like this, where you're just constantly moving back. And if you're constantly moving back, he'll always shoot a laser at you. Every now and then. <laughs> like this one. You can dash- I'm dashing towards it, just so I can get a uh, DT built up. Whenever he goes into this form, uh, he always does different attacks. Obviously that one was the easy one to dodge. Just constantly moving back, just so he doesn't hit you. And then you go in, and you just counter. And that's basically like, most of this fight, is just moving back and countering. We actually get pretty fortunate there that he didn't hit us. Obviously he was doing that spin, you dodge. As soon as he does the ground pound, you go in. And then you just do whatever combo you want. This is uh, where he does judgement. Just wait until you see his arm move, then dodge. That's the time, and as soon as you see his arm move, you just dodge. And you keep hitting the circle button. And then we just go in hell and earth. We judgement cut, end him, and that's the fight. And that's mission 20, hell and hell S rank. So, hope you've enjoyed the hell and hell guides. They're done. DMC5 is practically done, other than some fun challenge runs I've still got planned today. But I hope these helped you, and see you later. Don't you dare.